Good news stories about the environment can be hard to come by, but one is emerging right here in Canada. Regulations that curved emissions causing acid rain decades ago, remember that? Well, those now appear to be producing results, with lakes in Ontario showing promising signs of recovery. Masters of Biology candidate at Laurentian University, Haley Moskal, is studying some of the hardest hit spots, and she joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So you are looking at lakes in Killarney Provincial Park. How have they changed from the 1960s, when the problem was at its worst, to now? So some characteristics of the lakes around the 1960s um, were that they were very acidic, so they had a very low pH. Um, they were extremely clear and they could have almost been described as colorless. Uh, you could kind of see from the top of the lake all the way to the bottom. And the lakes were having a loss of species. So species of fish, species of invertebrates, birds, frogs, everything like that, um, they were being lost at that time. But today, um, the, all of these things are kind of changing. So the pH is going back up to more of a neutral pH. Uh, the water color of the lakes is changing. So the lakes are becoming more colored and more cloudy, which are signs of a healthier lake, mm -hmm. as well as a lot of the species are beginning to return. So collaboration between the U.S. and Canada, we know, helped to eliminate some of the emissions that were causing acid rain. But since the damage was already done, how did these lakes recover? How did they go from being these, like, septic clear bodies of water to ones where there's life. So emissions reductions really was kind of the biggest thing that has helped these areas recover. So without um, without the emissions raining down on the lakes, nature has really been allowed to heal itself and to clean up. So due to these good government regulations and these innovative technologies, um, we've been able to have significant biological and water quality recovery. And it really is just nature healing itself over time. I mean, Haley, the lakes that we're showing now and the, like the beautiful lake behind me, these are all lakes that people can get to. But the ones you study are not connected to trails or roads. And I find this an interesting part of your study. Can you share with everybody how you get to them? Yeah, so um, the lakes that we were studying were kind of in a chain of lakes that you had to hike to. Um, some of the lakes were as far as 10 kilometers away. So we we were hiking. We, we hauled all of our gear. We portaged canoes. We were off trail bushwhacking. Um, and we just found our way there. Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of different research canoes stashed in the park that our collaborative group tends to work with. Uh, we located these canoes. We moved these around, and we used them throughout the research. Okay, here's you hauling gear, but can we go back to the picture of that canoe? <laughs> for a moment because there's duct tape on the front. Uh, tell us why you had to duct tape it. Tape it. So we found the canoe. The canoe is about 30 years old. We managed to locate it at one of the lakes, um, and we found that it was kind of bear chewed. You could see the, the, the result of a bear had been at the canoe. Um, so it, it leaked pretty badly. So every day we used it, we got up and we taped it up really good. And, and then we were able to use it. So it worked. All right. And the success in this story that we're seeing in the lakes, tell us about the environmental problems that we're facing today? I mean, there are some environmental problems that we're facing today, of course, with um, CO2 emissions and everything like that. Uh, I would love that this project would be able to kind of demonstrate that we were able to clean up SO2 emissions as well as to have environmental recovery from acid rain. So I would really love for this project to kind of just be able to demonstrate that we are able to recover from conditions of extreme pollution. You're still gathering your research. The conclusions aren't there, but so far, everything is looking really good. Haley Moskal, great to meet you. Thank you for this. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.